while back, I was at a baseball game and I received a magic baseball as a giveaway. Now, you know the drill. You ask any yes or no questions, give the ball a shake, and watch the answer appear magically in front of you. Now, after playing around with it a bit, I noticed that the air bubbles start to build up and it makes the response kind of hard to read. So I thought to myself, why not just make an electronic version? So I did. I call it the Magic BS2 board and it works basically the same as shaking a magic baseball. It uses the basic stamp homework board, a four directional tilt sensor, and serial LCD display. And today we'll show you how to make one of your very own so that you can ask your deepest questions and get a response. Parallax Incorporated takes no responsibility for unwanted, untrue, or potentially slanderous answers. This project is intended strictly for entertainment purposes. Let's get started. As always, full documentation and source code can be found by going to www.parallax.com forward slash education and clicking the Stamps and Class Mini Projects link at the top of the page. Then select Magic BS2 board from the list of projects. This page contains all of the information you will need to complete this project on your own. So you may be wondering what a four directional tilt sensor is and why it was chosen for this project. Basically, we'll want to know when the board is shaking and when it's still so that we know when to display our answers. And the four directional tilt sensor provides an inexpensive means to get this done. For more information, check out the four directional tilt sensors product documentation by going to www.parallax.com and searching for its product number 28036. As per usual, our first step is to wire up our circuits and then make sure that everything is wired correctly. Now, you may notice that I am using some mounting brackets for the serial LCD display. I think it just makes it kind of easier to shake the board and have the LCD be attached to it, uh, but you don't have to use them. But if you'd like to, uh, mounting instructions are included on the Magic BS2 board's documentation page. The program Magic BS2 Board Test BS2 will print a test message on the serial LCD display and monitor the states of the four directional tilt sensor's output pins using the debug terminal. Now, a very important thing to check is to see how the four directional tilt sensor responds when the board is shaking. Uh, we'll want to see if there's a type of pattern that emerges that we can then later track in our final project code to see when the board is shaking and the user is asking their question or when it's still and they're ready for their answer. To do so, let the program run for a few seconds while shaking the board. Then place the board back on a flat surface and press the pause button in the debug terminal. Scroll through the listing of output states and see if you can detect a pattern that can be replicated in the final project code. And once we've got that all figured out, we're ready to put everything together for our final code. Now remember that full documentation can be found on the Stamps and Class Mini Projects page, but to give you a brief introduction, I will be using some random commands to make sure that the answer is different every time someone asks a question. Uh, then we're going to be using some if-then statements to see when the board is shaking and when it's still and then some select case statements to display an answer based on the value in the variable that we were randomizing. Then, after running magic BS2 board BS2, just ask any yes or no question that your heart desires, shake the board, and watch the answer appear magically before your eyes. Now, keep in mind, if you'd like to ask the magic BS2 board another question, you'll have to press the reset button on the basic stamp homework board. So let's give it a whirl, shall we? Will I ever travel to the future in a DeLorean? Don't count on it. Well, that's legitimately disappointing. Now, you may notice that all of these responses are electronics or parallax themed. I was just trying to be clever and you can feel free to change them to whatever you want. Seriously, get creative. And um, as a word of advice from me to you, you may not want to mention that all of the responses are really derived from a series of mathematical equations, which seem to be random, but are really calculated by the basic stamp too. Just keep that on the DL and watch all of your friends and family be amazed at this device that you created that predicts their future. So remember to visit parallax.com education and follow the link to the Stamps in Class mini projects page so you can complete this project on your own. And as always, happy developing.